Yo, what the f is up, YouTube? How you doing? So I was toying with OBS last night on stream, and you would not believe the stuff we found out once we dug deeper. Stuff. It was crazy. <laughs> Anyways, yesterday, figured out how to set up a beep sound with OBS. So I'm going to show you guys how to set that up. There are only two things you need to know for this video. One is how to get the download for the beep sound itself and two, how to set it up. And we're going to go where we are going to cover those in that order. The first thing you'll need to do in this video's description, you'll see a link that says join my discord here. Just click that link and it'll send you over to my discord server. Once you join my discord server, it will look something like this. If you scroll down on the left here and look for the tab content support, you'll see a text channel that is labeled downloads and in the downloads, you'll see a download for sensor beep SE. All you need to do is download that, that sound effects file. My discord is a place where we offer free audio and video help along with discussions around games and streaming. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, feel free to just join the discord and be part of a growing community. We're growing strong. I think we've gained 100 members in the last like month. So it's growing very quickly and it's pretty amazing. And then also guys, if you like content around audio and vid video related stuff and Twitch related streaming stuff, do me a solid, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to know when I go live or post my next video. So the setup for this is fairly simple. If you followed the flawless stream setup with voice meter and OBS, you'll have similar audio capture devices that I have. But if you don't, it is okay. It will work the same. So what you'll have here is your audio capture devices or on your audio mixer, you'll have your microphone. What you're gonna do with your microphone is go to your settings, go to audio, scroll down, find the hotkeys for your mic, and you, what you'll want to toggle is enable push to mute. Hit apply and then okay. Keep in mind guys, the audio levels may vary for your stream versus my stream. So with this beep sound, you're going to wanna make minor adjustments to the audio level to make sure that it's not overpowering, light, overpowering, poweringly, overpoweringly, overpoweringly loud or too quiet. And in order to do that, you'll go to the beep sound source. If you right click it, go to filters, add a gain filter here. So hit this plus sign and add a gain filter. And what you can do is uh, you can adjust this here and increase and decrease the volume by decibel values. The next thing you need to do is upload the beep sound effect. What you'll do is in the sources here, hit the little plus button, go to media source, create a new media source. And what you'll upload is that file I gave you, sensor beep SE, hit okay. And then you'll want to toggle loop and then also restart playback when source becomes active and close file when inactive and hit okay. The reason we want to loop this file is because it's a one second file. The reason I made it a one second file is because before in my mind, I made it a larger file. I thought, you know, I'll do a 30 second file, but the file was fairly large. It increased my CPU usage in OBS by almost 1%. So instead I made it a one second file. So the file size was super small and I loop it. So the sound is constantly going, but it only is active when we unmute it. All right, so next we wanna do something similar to the beep sound that we did to the microphone where we enabled the push to mute. So go back to your settings, go down to the audio tab and scroll down to the beep sound or the media source that you have uploaded and toggle the enable push to talk. Hit apply, we're not done yet. Go over to the hotkeys, scroll down until you find your mic source. Once you find your mic source, set a keybind for the push to mute. Okay, and this same keybind is what you're gonna use to toggle the beep sound. Does that make sense? So we're gonna go to the beep sound and you're gonna set two keybinds on this, the push to, push to talk keybind and the unmute keybind. Um, these are both gonna be the same exact keybinds. I have mine set to the minus sign on my number pad. 
Um, I actually don't suggest using that because when you're on a web browser, it makes it makes the windows smaller, stuff like that, or it reduces volume in, in music applications. Um, so ideally you have this this uh, this hotkey on your on your mouse or something like that, but pick a hotkey that works for you. Make sure you have the push to mute keybind on your microphone and then push to talk and unmute on your beep sound all the same. Hit apply and okay. Once you have everything set up, you're free to test it out. So while you're talking, all you need to do is hit your keybind. We're gonna test talk. You should be able to talk and it should mute everything and in, in its place, play the sensor beep. As I mentioned before, guys, make sure you calibrate the sound. So before you do any streaming, I would video record some recordings and test the, the sound level. Or if you just look at the audio mixer here, you see where my microphone's hitting. It's about that 20, negative 20 decibels there. Um, so on the beep sound, I adjusted it to make sure that my it's matching uh, right around where my microphone is just a little bit higher as i mentioned before guys feel free to join my discord we offer free audio and video help when it comes to content creation shout out to my dude coffee rap media live he's an audio medic in my discord the dude is wicked smart he's helped a lot of people been a massive part of the community and uh can't thank you enough man thank you so much also guys if you like streaming related content audio related content tech related content do me a solid hit that sub button and hit the notification bell to know when i release my next video i hope you enjoyed the living out of this video thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you next time peace